to talk about this moment that we're in. I um, I'm speaking of all that's real. It's very easy to get lost in your mind. It is very easy to look into your past and or someone else's past and get lost in your mind and completely miss the moment you're in. When I talk to you about this moment, I'm talking to you about all that is real. You see, we've lived such perceptional existences, um, Maurice. You might have lived such a perceptional existence up to this point that you might feel blinded, almost, by memory, by past. The mind very quickly identifies by the past. It's the reason why it's so interested in the past. The reason why it's so interested in knowing what someone else has done and then judging them. The reason why our judicial system puts people in jail for past crimes. The reason why the religious system believes that you're a sinner. That you will always be a sinner. Have you lied? Well, that makes you a liar. Have you ever murdered somebody? No, I've never murdered somebody. Well, have you ever hated somebody? Because the Bible says if you hate somebody, it's the same thing as murder. That makes you a murderer. You, you see, the religious system is really good at looking at your past and making a judgment based on that past and then assuming that God does the same thing. Even though we know that God is love and love keeps no record of wrongs, we want to go on continually assuming that He is just like the ego, keeping a record of wrongs. And because... We genuinely believe that we are the accumulation of all these memories, the conglomeration of all these memories, of all these past events that brought us to this point. Because we genuinely believe, even if we don't want to believe, we genuinely believe that is who we are. Because we believe that. We have a very difficult time experiencing the pleasure of the moment we're presently in. I want to talk to you tonight about ordinary magic. Because the ego is always looking for extraordinary moments, isn't it? How many times have you gone out on a date and you thought to yourself, I hope this is just an ordinary moment. Like, nothing really interesting happens. Conversationally, it's kind of boring. It's just ordinary. Or when you go on a date, you think to yourself, man, the mind's going. It's like, it could look like this. It could be romantic. It could be phenomenal, like a love mo moment of love and of just like sensuality. And maybe even I could get lucky. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the mind's always like looking outside of the moment for pleasure, for what is real, because it's identified in what's outside of the moment called the past. And so it's always looking ahead for something better, something beautiful, something extraordinary. And so we're missing the beauty of what I would like to call to you ordinary magic. When you think magic, you don't think ordinary, do you? I'm not talking about a card trick or pulling a quarter out from behind your ear or anything like that. I'm talking about the simplicity of a step or driving a car. Raising children, changing diapers. Ordinary magic. You see, if mindfulness isn't impacting it, every ordinary area of your life, then what's the point? If realizing who you are, what you are, isn't impacting every ordinary area of expression, what's the point? Uh, true spirituality touches every area of your life. It just doesn't touch... People are always chasing my point to Evans at the end of the sad song was this. People are always chasing experience because they're missing the one they're currently in. People are always chasing mystical experience because they're missing the ordinary magic they're experiencing in this moment. They're looking for gems from the heavens because they haven't seen their driveway. The, the, <laughs> the little stones in their driveway as beautiful. It's like I've said to you many times, I had a dime for every time I heard people say, heaven is here now. But then they're pursuing with all their might, gemstones from heaven and miracles all around it. Heaven is here now. If it's here now, celebrate it here now. The kingdom of God is at hand and you're changing that diaper. That is just as miraculous and magical as you making love. Or winning the lottery. Or having a gemstone fall from heaven and crack you in the face. This three carat diamond from heaven. It's just as magical. 